So we've heard how a composer can set a poem to music by engaging directly with the words of a poem. But another Arnold, Arnold Schoenberg, goes one step further by setting a poem to music while dispensing of the actual words. In this way, he's directly translating the poem into another medium, which raises the question, if you're not actually hearing the words while listening to the music, then how can you be sure that the images you see in your mind's eye as you hear the piece correspond to the poem? The answer is, it doesn't matter. It's music that can be enjoyed on many different levels of engagement. But first, let's hear the poem. Two people walk through a bare, cold grove. The moon races along with them. They look into it. The moon races over tall oaks. No cloud obscures the light from the sky, into which the black points of the, of the boughs reach. A woman's voice speaks. I'm carrying a child and not yours. I walk in sin beside you. I have committed a great offense against myself. I no longer believed I could be happy, and yet I had a strong yearning for something to fill my life, for the joys of motherhood and for duty. For it, so I committed an effrontery, so shuddering, I allowed my sect to be embraced by a strange man, and on top of that I blessed myself for it. Now life has taken its revenge. Now I have met you, oh, you. She walks with a clumsy gait. She looks up. The moon is racing along. Her dark gaze is drowned in light. A man's voice speaks. May the child you conceived be no burden to your soul. Just see how brightly the universe is gleaming. There's a glow around everything. You are floating with me on a cold ocean. But a special warmth flickers from you into me, from me into you. It will transfigure the strange man's child. You will bear the child for me as if it were mine. You have brought the glow into me. You have made me a, like a child myself. He grasps her around her ample hips. Their breath kisses in the breeze. Two people walk through the lofty, bright night. In setting this poem to music, Schoenberg divided his piece into five sections that correspond, that correspond to the five stanzas of the poem. In the beginning, he evokes the cold, bare night landscape by having the cello intone a repeated note while the upper strings play a simple descending line.
And later on, he creates the atmosphere of the emotional tension and inter inner turmoil of our characters as they walk in the night. And in this next passage, we hear the woman gathering up her courage to finally tell her story. And even without a singer, I think you can hear the exact moment the woman starts speaking and pouring her heart out. 91. In his setting of the third section, you hear how he evokes the clumsy gait, that awkward part of the conversation, you know what I mean, when uh, you've just said something really intense and now there's an awkward silence where the other person is absorbing the information you just gave them and you feel very vulnerable and have no idea how they're going to respond.
then finally, the man responds as in the fourth stanza, and you can hear the heartwarming love and acceptance in the cello solo. And then, to conclude the work, a bit of musical poetry, like the one that we just heard, that seems to spring more from Schoenberg's imagination than Damo's, as we hear how love has transfigured this starry night from fear and dread into that magical feeling of infinite possibility. So as I mentioned before, 
you're probably wondering if you need to have a copy of the poem and the score in hand while you listen to the concert so that you can be sure that you can tie everything you hear to its line in the poem. You certainly can if you want to, but you shouldn't feel obligated to do so. What Schoenberg has done is use the poem to create a narrative structure for a piece of music that works on its own terms. In fact, after the poet, Richard Demel, first heard this piece, he wrote to Schoenberg, I had intended to follow the motives of my text in your composition, but soon forgot to do so. I was so enthralled by the music.